I'm back out on the field. So I've got an epic signal over there. Let's go and check it out. Woohoo! Oh, bang it. I've knocked it out. Ah, oh, it's not a pesky button, is it? Oh, I think it is. Ah, oh, it's a pesky brokeless, brokeless, shank, shankless, brokeless, uh, pesky button with nothing on it. On to the next. Oh, the strange looking thing I've just found. Very low signal, sounded like cack. Don't know, it might well be cack. It looked a bit coppery. On to the next. Oh, I just found this. I think it's a pit and other button. I, I can see a shank bent over, but it might have something on it. Uh, and there again, it might not. Oh, yeah, I've come over to a different part of the field. There's definitely more signals here. So hopefully soon I might have a hammered coin. Oh, we've got a lovely signal down this ear hole. Oh, sounds a bit buttony though. Huh. Oh, a bit deeper. Oh, why in the middle? Oh. Right. Right in the middle. Oh, what's that down there? I saw something circular. I think. Did I? Just there. Uh oh. Oh, it's got some writing on it. I thought it was a squash bullet, but I don't think it is. It's got writing. Uh, oh. Ah, I know what this is. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. That's a, that's a tax thing. What do they call them? Tax seals? Um, oh my God, what's they called? You know, it's not like the, it's not like the ones you put on the bags, the, um, the bag seals. This is a, a cloth one for cloth. Right, there it is. Uh, can we read that? Can you read that? Possibly. Uh, now, is that a portcullis in the middle? Can't really tell. I think it is. Looks like a portcullis. What do you think? That might help with identifying it. It looks, there it looks like a T, V, D, something. I can see an N and a T. So these are about 1800, 1850. And you see the back. It kind of punches through the cloth and then crimps onto it. Sort of like, it's a bit like those modern things you get in supermarkets to stop shoplift, shoplifters from licking clothing. See the bend there, look? So the bend goes over the cloth and it sort of punches through and then this thing folds over and sort of holds it in place. Lovely jubbly. That's the find of the day so far. On to the next. Oh, this was giving me a banging signal. I thought it was going to be cack and I was right. It's a huge bottle top, but it's a syringe bottle top. A little, little bit of rubber in the middle there, look. So for injecting animals with some sort of a concoction to make them feel better. Well, feel better and be better. Ugh. Oh, I had a job finding that target. Oh, I did. Yeah. I got very confused. Mm. Oh, what does it say there? Five amp. Ugh. Oh, I reckon I might have a coin here. 12.38. Uh, let's make sure we give it plenty of shadow. <laughs> oh, 
right in the middle, good sign. Oh, squelch. A bit muddy here. Oh, see that did it. Ugh. Ugh, it's gooey. Ugh. It's right here. Nice bit of clay soil. Hopefully it'll be preserved. Perfectly preserved. Hmm. Might need the spade. Yeah, I'm going to just spade it. See anything? Right, try from this side. Uh. Oh, what's that? See something? Right there. Oh, is it a papa buller, or just a good big piece of lead? It's got some sort of a shape to it. Got these funny dents. Right, I don't think this is anything. I'll get it cleaned up and if it's anything interesting I'll get back to you, but if it if it ain't then I won't. Oh I got a lovely one here. Oh, could be silver. Yeah, must be silver. Quite rocky. Could be a dwelling. Oh, another one. Oh, great big silver half crown. Charles the first. Oh yeah. I see anything down there? No, a lot of rocks. Right. Oh, yes. Sweet! Oh, it's getting to the squelchy mud. Hopefully it won't sneak in, but it's trying to. Yep, the mud's trying to sneak between my, uh, you know, look, there, look. See, it's trying to sneak in there and get me knees all wet. Right. Banging. Absolutely banging. Oh. Moved it. Oh no! What's that? Looks like crack. It is cack. Yeah, it's melted and solidified aluminum. Ugh. 